Hello and welcome to Richie's Lego Closet. Today we're going to take a look at all the new stuff that I've added over the, the last six weeks or so since my last uh, video. And so why don't you come on in and take a look. So first thing you see is where I have all my uh, minifigures. Well not all of them. This is maybe about half of all my minifigures. I think I have a lot more than this though, in different areas. Get a closer look here. See if we have a little bit of Ninja Turtles and Space, a little bit of Mtron, uh, a couple of C uh, C3PO's, some airport people here, <laughs> and all kinds of other little stuff. The uh, Santa's Workshop. Really old classic city uh, fireman set here. I think it's from the 90s, 1990s. And of course, I have my whole uh, Ninjago theme going on here. And the new uh, Tiger Willow set. This one was kind of fun to build. I wish it had more rock pieces and a whole base plate would have been nice. And here is my Temple of Erjitsu. And I really wish it had a blue base plate for this section right here. That would have been awesome. Instead I have to go buy one from somewhere. Okay, we come up here and see a little more of my Star Wars. And some of my heroes in Bionicle. And of course... I have my technique. This time I've added this particular motorcycle here. And uh, this pullback one here. And of course I have my other technique sets. And let's come up here and look at the storage rack for all my Lego. This box here is nothing but 2x4s. Nothing else. 2x4 bricks. This one is 1x4s uh, and greater, so one, up to 1x12s. Uh, assorted other bricks. But here you can see I've started my uh, nice little storage rack where I can easily just pull, op pull open any one of these, grab anything I want, push it back, and we're good to go. And uh, for larger items, I have these pull-out drawers where you can see I have my plates. So this is my plate drawer. And this is the 2 by whatever plus some wedges right here. So here are all my 2 by whatever It's basically anything above 2 by 4 And here's some assorted bricks I have as well. I haven't gone through and resorted these yet. So, huge mix. And of course, my huge rack or cases of parts. So, as you can see here, I've uh, I have these semi-organized basically by category. So, if the category is similar, then I will uh, place them together. So as you can see here, so I have a lot of technique stuff here. It's kind of hard to show it all, but let's see here. Now, some of these have really dark pieces, so it's kind of hard to show on the camera. But this one is uh, a lot of axles and pens. Yeah, mostly axles and pens. So let's put these back up. Shield that one. 
So here are some more assorted technique pieces, mostly bushings here, and a few uh, technique beams and some connectors. And this is nothing but connectors, technique connectors. A lot of uh, black over here as well, but they're all different types. All right. And I really, as you notice here, I, I can move these around. These are really great. Uh, I, I can, I've put these through quite a bit of abuse so far, and uh, none of the pieces have really uh, flooded over or filled over into the adjacent uh, bend. So this has worked out extremely well. And of course, it's nice just to be able to pull it out and take it with you wherever you want to go. As you can see here, I have uh, some larger technique beams and other assorted parts. I even have uh, right here in this particular bin some S bricks so I can control all my uh, technique creations using my iPhone or iPad. And of course, I have some doors and large windows and some tiles here. Lots of tiles in this bin right here. Some open bins that have yet to receive any sorted parts. So. Alright, so here are some more uh, minifigures and accessories over here on the left. And some uh, technique switches and power functions. This is mostly power functions right here. And some pneumatic uh, pieces here in the middle. Uh, on the right. Okay, this one's a heavy one. Uh, lots of plates. Uh, some grills here in the middle. If I can get the lighting just right. And let's see here. Um, some 1x2 bricks and some special 1x2 tiles and some slopes over here and it looks like some jumper uh, 1x2 jumper plates here in the middle alright and wheels as well as uh, technique bricks and plates and of course a huge bin full of the friction pins And of course, more technique. A lot of technique parts I have. All right. Kind of hard to see some of it. All right. Let's back up here. All right. And I have a. Most of my manuals uh, that come with all the different sets I've owned. And of course, I have some uh, base plates here as well. And in this drawer, I have a few little goodies, including a nice little uh, Lego mug. Unfortunately, the Lego mugs are more kid size and not so much really meant for adults, but yeah, I could drink out of it. Nice little Easter set here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to take these with me. Give them to uh, the Lego friends. Alright. So we'll stick that there. And here's a drawer full of nothing but minifigures from different uh, series that I've opened to take a look at. Let's see which one is inside. And. Uh, some of these I may uh, resell, but quite a few of these I will keep, as you can see here. And so that's this rack. If we come up here, you can see my inventory of assorted Lego, including a whole box here of minifigures. 
and I have a little bit of Toy Story, Chima, Star Wars, Technique. I even have some books right here, Lego books. So the Encyclopedia here, and Minifigure, Ninjago, Ninjago, and a bunch of little friend sets here, as well as um, Mixels. I have a lot of Mixels. And some of this, you see it's kind of overflowing on the wall here. Just a little bit, if you can even see that. And here's my secondary storage rack, where I have some other uh, sets here. And it's not exactly sorted, but you can kind of see I've got a bunch of stuff. This has a lot of plants in it, so I can grab that kind of plant stuff. And large items I can't really fit anywhere else. As you can see here. Okay. And of course I have my uh, mobile little uh, workspace workbench here where I'm I tend to do uh, sorting and cataloging and storing and building. This is kind of my uh, main workspace where I do all my work. So here's a uh, big old bag I have yet to uh, open up and catalog and sort and store. So that's on my to-do list. Alright, well that concludes the tour for today's Lego Closet. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.